Okay, guys, this is a preview video of the uh, my RSAI strategy. Um, this will not include the disclosures of, and so I have this thing blocked. But this is not includes the, the disclosure of what uh, it uh, the items are. Okay, um, this line and these two lines, I did not say what they are. Uh, this right here. Um, this is not an Ichimoku, okay? It looks like it, but it isn't. Uh, it functions differently. Um, and uh, so this is just really a preview of what you're gonna see coming up on the RSAI strategy. Um, and uh, once I finish the course, once I finish making the course booklet or ebook or whatever, e-course, um then you will have all this information you will have you know how to set this up uh all the settings and and whatnot um so let's begin um i'm on the euro british pound and uh i'm taking the uh, replay uh going back to about a year and um, give you an idea for what this looks like and uh, what uh, you'll be trading, the tools you'll be using. You can see here these change colors, you know, sell, red for sell, green for buy. This two lines, I'm looking for this to cross up. When this line is above the red line, you're gonna buy. Sells vice versa, same for the yellow and the green, or this is can be this can be red or whatever. Um, this uh, whatever color you make it, um, but fast and slow. Um, you can uh, actually uh, get a signal to sell or to buy. When this is under, it's going to be sell. When it's under this cloud, this is going to be sell. Okay. Uh, at the moment, let's say we're going to just run through scenarios. I'll say I'll buy here, sell here, stuff like that. Um, all right, so you bought down here. Or you can wait for the confirmation, which is the green, the green uh, signal, whatever. Now the crosses below, double top, you want to sell. But not yet, because you notice this. Uh, this has got frozen now. These this line has to be um, above. This has to be uh, below, okay. And it's following. See how it kind of follows that the green line, the space above it. The green line is where the price is going to be attracted to. This flat. This when this is flat, this indicates a flat market. You got a double top. Uh, but this isn't really a sell, it's like a weak sell. And then see it ended up turning green, all right? And the double top, which uh, sometimes double top can get broken. Sometimes, if I mean, if I got it close to that, I wanna use that as my stop loss. Or generally, I'll use this as my stop loss. Uh, but this green, this is indicating that this price can still head up especially okay if it breaks out of this cloud now this signal is now saying green so we got green green the only thing that's disagreeing with it is our double top here from the two programs uh and this this with well, this part of disagreeing but once this gets above here this is green that's green i would like to go ahead and buy let's see let's see if it's if it does nope it gets knocked down all right so um, at this point, at this point, if I were to sell, if I were to sell, when I saw that that's got knocked down, I would use this line as my stop, as my stop loss. If this breaks and it switches to the green, I'm going to buy. Okay. But generally, if you, you're going to have different levels of strong and weak, this would be a weak sell because it's inside the cloud. And generally, you don't want to buy or sell it when it's inside the cloud. But let's say we did uh, when it failed at this line. It's going to be the strongest area of resistance uh, at this point. 
You know, if he breaks out, then you know what we got. Immediately close. We're not holding on to positions. You don't need to. All right, we're still sell. It did break through that. Okay. So we're still in this. All right, now oh, we got a formation of this. So you definitely want to switch immediately to a buy. When this forms up, buy. But again, all right, confirmation. This right here is a strong area of resistance. So, and because this is below, see the center of the button? This is below the Ichimoku. I really wouldn't, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to buy it. But generally, when this pops up, you want to switch to a buy. But okay, these are things that are working against each other. And you're going to have like a factor. Like you're going to say, okay, one, two, three, four, five. You know, if this fulfilled, that's fulfilled. This fulfilled, that fulfilled. You know, if they're all lit up, then you definitely want to do it. But if it's just three, proceed with caution. You want to buy it or sell it, you know. So we're going to have like a, a gauge for that. Um, let's see if I can grab, you know what, I'm getting my pen. Okay, so you're going to think about these as a rating, and you're going to write this down. Okay, it's going to be five things you're going to look at. You're going to look at the fast, slow line. You're going to look at the harmonic. You're going to look at the cloud. You look at the red, green bars. And you look at these EMA lines. Okay? The red, green EMAs. All right? And they have a rating. They each have a rating. The fast slow line is like a three, one to five. You know, the three, harmonic is a four, the clouds are five, the red green bars is a three, the EMA is a four. It's like a, on a level of power, okay? If you want to buy, if you want, well, you're going to do, the, okay, you're going to do the rating. So the sell on the sell side, and you're going to buy side. I add the harmonics. No, oh, I took that. Hold on. Okay, you're going to look at these in the categories. Okay. You're going to have the fast, slow line. You have the harmonic. You have the cloud in there. You have the red, green bars. We'll call it red, green bars for now. You have the EMA lines, the red and green EMA lines. And then you have the, uh, the double top and double bottom. Okay. So you're going to add them up. The three fast line, the fast line is going to be three points. Harmonic is four. The cloud's five. The red green bars are three. The EMA uh, red greens are four. And the double top, double bottoms are fives. Okay. So this is how you're going to decide whether you're going to buy or sell it. Right now, at this point, okay, just a kind of a random point we stopped at. Notice that the yellow and the green, let's go here. These two, what does that say? That says sell. So we're going to put on the sell side. That's sell. Um, we're going to call that the cloud spans. You know, similar to similar to the Ijimoku. We're going to call that the cloud spans. Okay? Cloud spans are three points. Write that down. So three points. Okay? Uh, right now the cloud is under the cloud. So... That's going to be count against it. It should be five. Okay. Uh, so there's a double top coming off of this. It's coming off of that. It's an extension from there. Okay. So you're going to add it in five. Uh, the red green bars also say sell. They're going to add that in. It's going to be three. So the total comes to 16 points. Now on the buy side, this uh, harmonic is saying buy. So that's going to be four points. And the EMA is switching over right here at the moment. So it's going to, it's on the buy side. It's going to be eight. Now that's actually, so the odds really are going to, it's 50% at this point. I'm not 50, it's 50% less than the chances of it going up. So let's go. So I, we would short this. All right, so it's still in our short. Can't punch through. Now, when it goes inside the cloud, okay, what you want to do is you want to watch this line. All right, and here, when it's in here, 
you know, depending on where you picked it up at, okay, you, you know, well, really, you don't want to, you want to be as close to this cloud as you can when you short it. And then this line is going to be going to determine the, you know, if you're going to buy it, if it's going to turn, it turns into a buy. Right now, it can be a hold. Sometimes a drawdown, you get out because of drawdown, but you want to be kind of close to this when you sell it. Okay. So we're in a sell. All right. We're doing good. We're doing good. It hasn't now. This is still in play. As long as it is above this, you still count it. Okay. It's still counted as a buy. Once it goes to the opposite side, this harmonic switches to a cell number so be on the cells that five would be a cell okay that four was a four or five? four okay all right so it's broken that line's broken okay and it goes right on down um hold on i have it on auto i don't have it on auto so we're we're we're, we're over here from here we're making money until I you know wish to close now this second line which is down here is another area of support so when it comes down here you know you can close the order uh, this is now switched uh, the EMA is now switched back that's when you want to clo close your order when it switches back um, or you can wait for further confirmation here depending on where you got it you have to choose it's going to be the, this line this line, this line, this line, or that. Okay, don't want to be up there because you'd be negative. Okay, depending, you know, let's say you got it up here. You know what I mean? Then you can, you don't have to use this. You can use the next line. Okay, depending on your tolerance. Now it's green. That's green. The other spans have not turned green yet. The cloud. Line. Then there's a double bottom. All right, so we got a double bottom that popped up. So now some things have kind of switched. We've got double bottom for the buy. Uh, we've got the EMA for the buy. We've got um, the uh, red green bars saying buy. Um, what else do we have? Is that it? Uh, and we've, but we've hit the harmonic, which is switched to sell, which is the harmonic. It's going to be on this side. Going to be sell. Okay. Um, uh, what else? Anything else? The cloud, of course. Cloud is sell. The uh, the uh, span lines so associate harmonic four cloud five span line with the span line three double bottom of course five EMA uh, EMA is a four it should be a four point five oh, whatever four the red bars, the, this looks like it's even, folks. So right now, it's, it's even. So you don't want to do anything when it's even. When the powers are even, don't trade it. If you're in the trade, just hold on and, tell, and see what happens. Wait till it shifts. Okay, now it's broken past that. So you want if you're in the trade, I would close it, especially when it passes this line. Um, um, then this is about to cross. That's about to cross. That's cross. We need one more item. Oh, and it's came back inside this now. See how it's come back inside here? This is now flipped. The power is now flipped to a buy. So they lost this side. Now this shifts to a four over here. That now makes it uh um 
uh, to 9, 3, 12, 16, and then this drops 2 and 8. So when the, 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 the sell is now dropped to an eight, then you want to buy, okay, um, that cloud, but watch out for that cloud. You know, you see it get stuck here, you know, you want to close your buy. So if you bought it on the breakout here, I mean, it's just going to be short. I mean, I would wait for a buy or wait for a trade, something like that. Um, but if you did buy the breakout and it went side on the next bar, you would have been about right here. You're only, you know, you're only, only only looking at a max of 26, maybe. You know what I mean? Is is it really worth buying? Probably not. I mean, unless I mean I'm expecting this now since this is sitting here and it's gone back in, uh, I would go ahead and do it, um, but with caution, but simply because it's not now gone back inside the harmonic. Now it's breached that. So yeah, the harmonic appeared. You definitely want to get out or not trade it. So now we got a harmonic on our side, on the sell side. So then let's flip. Harmonic is now on the sell side. That goes up to 12. This drops 13. I'm not 13. This drops to 12. They're both even. Okay. They're both even. Um, and you want to wait for one more thing to cross. That line's got to cross. So the All right, the lines cross. So now it's it's switch. Oh no, you don't need it. Actually, it's all the three was already over here. Okay. Oh, I did that. I did that. Sorry, sorry. Take that back. Cell was over here. So, but what switch was the e? Was the e? Okay, and it's the cell rating went up. So now it's unbalanced. So now it's unbalanced, and it's uh, a cell. It switched to the cell side. So you would go ahead and sell it and let, until it breaks that. Okay, so we have quite a stop loss here. And then it see it's going sideways. It makes the balance of power switch and it's going, it's, it's even. You want these numbers to be at least, you know, um, twice the amount of the other side. I mean, when it's really close, it's just, it's flat. Um, so you, you want, you know, like we have, Areas like we had uh, 13 and what was it 13 and 8, 16, 16, 8. You want what well, 16 and 8? Um, you want something like that to really give you that real. It's like a stronger confirmation. You know, I'm not saying that this thing isn't foolproof. Like, okay, it's it's not gonna do that if it's. You know what I mean? Oh, you should bet all your money. No, no, no. Um, this is these are just the odds. Okay, we know when we're trading, we're working with those odds. Okay. Um, that's above it, uh, buy bottoms in there, but it's still inside this. I would wait for the breakout. I'd wait for the cloud to get involved, especially when it's, you know, something in this situation, it's gotta get, it just has to do it. I don't think it's going to do it. Well, yeah, see, I didn't think it was going to do it. Well, now it did I think because of this, but now this has become support. You can go ahead and buy, uh, but also you're going to use this as your stop and keep a tight stop loss. Okay. It should not break this line okay that cloud it should not break it if it breaks it you get out but you're here you're buying here okay so we made some money there there's a pullback um up here we started here we got a got a few pips went up to about 40 i can't see how far that is which is about 50 pips took a pullback the 28 um that could be a pullback to go higher we don't know we'd be i'd be measuring this to see if it's like at a 382 um i'd be using uh what is other tools you're going to use okay so you know when it's over uh things like the fib span read resistance fan okay if it's broken that um so let's go broken looks like it broke it. I'm, I'm just i'm guessing i'm not using the fan i'm just guessing just based visually it looked like it did break it, but it bounced off of this, off of the uh, 618. I wonder, you know what? Let me, let me see. Let 
Yeah, I, I, I mean the 382. It did bounce off the 382. This would be the high, the last significant. Yeah. So it's still within there. But once it breaks this, this line here, it's pretty much... Uh, Oh, the span. You know what? We can add that span into the number. So the span, if you're using it, okay, if you're really unsure, it can be kind of a tipping point. It'll let you know either there's going to be in a flat market or it's headed back down. Okay. Um, that, that 382, that 382 line. And then it's going to be um, that, that factor, depending on which side it's on, that factor is a five. Okay. It makes a big difference. So broke that. See, now you know that this has gone sell side, pretty much, or get out. You know, get out, get out right there. So from here to there, you know, uh, or if you grabbed one of these higher points or whatever. Um, how do I? Okay. <sighs> I said a mouthful. Twenty-one minutes. I wanted to make this a half an hour. So I'm waiting. This is EMA. This okay. Um, if it gets inside here, I'm going to be selling it or I can wait for this side because seller, you're going to get it short. So a lot of times it will bounce. I meant to say that a lot of times this, this is why that line is so important. Okay. When it's a pullback. Okay. And you're thinking, okay, this is nice getting with price rejection and I'm still at, let me see if I can, maybe can I back up a little bit? See, see, see the rejection. That's a clear sign to me. Like if you're still in it, okay, it's we're back to break even. I wouldn't get out of it. You know, when you're seeing price rejection, I would be in this. Um, let's go forward. Getting price rejection and the spent green and the EMA is now back on your side. Your side span would start here. I would do this. I'd take this because this thing would be moving much slower. Of course, I would take this last significant high. To the last significant low. Let's the first it's the last significant low and the last significant high. Click there. It's well within the 382. I can stay into the trade. Okay. I can hold on to my trade. Just like 60 pips there, right? Did it breach or it bounced off? It's not going to be exact. Okay. Bounced off. See? This is good. See, now you stayed in your trade and you are up because you got it here. Right, you see what boom pull back. I'm trying to remember where we bought it. It was uh, it broke through. I said buy it right there, it came back. So you get a pull back, you can buy it, and well you can get rid of your trade. It actually was that bar right there, that little bar. So you get that little bar all the way to uh that's nice that's a nice trade, ninety eight pips. Mm hmm Anything above not a hundred well, hundred and above I really I like. I don't like getting anything less than 100. All right, so I'd be happy with that. You know, I'd get out there. Um, but I didn't leave the span up to see it. So it's probably broken the span by now. So now it's broken this line, okay? Close your trade. That's aggressive. Or you can wait, close your trade on the next line. Whatever line that is, it's going to be your next line, okay? If that green line was above the other green line. All right, so double top. All right, now you want to sell. Um, sell. I would hold until this line, it broke the green line. So the green line would be out of the trade, then boom. But because this is a double top, well, you know, I'm not doing all the math at the bottom. Because this is a double top and it's broken the double top, I would expect that to now become support. And it's possible, or it might drop through. If it drops through, you know, if it goes through here, let's see, let's see, let's do the math. Let's try to, because sometimes it does this and you're like, what should I do? This is below. The EMA is below. See, on so EMA is on the sell side. Uh, the, um, the bars are on the sell side. The lagging lines are on the sell side. The, what else is on the sell side? The double top is on the sell side. The it seems like it's overwhelmingly sell, right? 
on this side there's no harmonic to support oh there's a harmonic sorry the abcd so the harmonics on the buy side uh the cloud is on the buy side All right, and then with the spans on the, uh, I don't know, so you need some kind of, the spans on the sell side, I think. Yeah, it's on the sell side. Oh, absolutely. Yes, yeah, on the sell side. So, span is on the sell. So you got five, five, four. You've got four, three. three, five, so that's going to be 8, 11, 15, this one's going to be 14, see how it's even, even, that's like, if I were in the trade, I'd get out, if I'm not in a trade, I would not trade it yet, I would wait for one of these to jump to the other side, okay, uh, which one is it that didn't jump? Harmonic in the cloud. The span just now jumped to the other side. Yep, they lost the span. So this adds 20 and this drops, that's nine. Now 20 and nine, I'd be selling it. I would be selling it from here. Let's see what we got. Oh, and that just switched side. That's all right. Oh, we got another double top. Forget it. Yeah, forget it. It went back and this went back. Span, yes, yes. The only thing is cloud. Here, here, we're holding. It's in the cloud. It can't get out. Once it gets in here, it's pretty much trapped. Oh, we got a, uh, we got a harmonic now. So remember, the harmonic is to this point. Okay, we don't count beyond this, but it's already at that point now. But I'm, I'm in it, but I'm in it up here. So I wouldn't be out yet. I'd still be waiting. Okay, I would close my trade. When it goes back to zero, close your trade. All right, just leave it. Close your trade. Now, we're looking at this point. This is in play, but it's, it didn't breach this. It didn't breach this. It hit that double top. And it did not enter back in, okay? Right here, this line right here. So we're waiting for it to get here, okay? I would go ahead and, sh well, no. You could, you could. I mean, these are, the lagging and the double top are now in the play. I could, I would wait for the RSI to say red here. Yeah, I would wait. Because see, it's, it's still working with that area. You know, just wait. Yeah, there we go. See, it went up. So, but it, it's not breaking this line. Oh, it went back into, oh, forget it. Yeah. Yeah, we got to wait for the factors. All right. So, somehow it's not connected. Um... So it's trying to enter back. It ended up entering back, and especially then. I mean, you seriously don't want to. Yeah, I mean, I would be like, just I would just wait until these came up, okay? We don't want to chase the price. So just wait. All right. So now, we, now this is switch. Uh, this is switch. Now, see, we have things on our on our side now. I'll see if this comes back up or something, pulls back up just a little bit instead of catching it down here and risking a pullback. Let's see if it kind of, kind of just did it or no. Yeah, it did then a tiny bit, went inside. Yeah. So when it does this, see that line? Cause that's going to be like kind of your stop loss on the short. When it comes, you know, in your mind, you'll be like, that's the stop loss for sure. When it goes above that and then it breaks out of it, you can sell it. You know, you want to do your math. I believe it's a sell. Should be it should be a sell. Should be a sell. Um, so okay, let's play. That's gonna be a stop loss. So when remember when it goes back to even, just get out. Do not hold on to your trade. So we're out of a trade. We either sold down here because it was gonna bounce. Chances are it was bounce, or we just you know waited till then. So when would I? Whoop, Let's see, see if I would take a trade. I would take a trade because now it's on this side. So I would be short in it. Absolutely. You know, we saw how. And this is pretty much done. Uh, the distance is going to be twice this when it, it loses its strength after 
you know, the, the width of this, let's see, I can show you the width of this to this. It should be the same as, you know, a day and a half, two days from here. Well, that's two days. The strength of that is pretty much over. And you see how it will start collapsing, okay? So we're going to short. If it goes back above it, so I'm using these next lines as my stop loss. Now it's gone down, see? So I didn't, it didn't trigger because it didn't close above the line, okay? Don't worry about the wicks. Once it closes above that line, now this is going to be my next stop loss. Not a stop loss. Switches. See, so stop loss became this one. So you only made, and you only made a little, you only made a little bit, which was uh, here. Oh, well, well, 28 pips. All right. So now I need to do the math again and again. And, uh, and over. Uh, all right. So this is gone 30 minutes, but that's just the gist of it. Uh, we'll cover more of it. Um, in the you know the RSAI get the book get the book when the thing is ready okay get the book uh, I'll see you guys then um, have a great weekend happy Halloween to you all right that's tomorrow um, and I'll see you when I see you peace.